गुड मॉर्निंग क्लास एट माई सेल्फ रंजीत कुमार आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन द ई लर्निंग प्रोग्राम ऑफ मॉडर्न इंग्लिश स्कूल कुंती नगर नवादा दिस इज द सिक्स वीडियो लेक्चर ऑफ द चैप्टर एयर एंड वाटर पॉल्यूशन इन टूडेज वीडियो वी हैव टू सी हार्मफुल इफेक्ट ऑफ वाटर पॉल्यूशन सो आई हैव गिवेन यू वन वीडियो ऑन वाटर पॉल्यूशन before going into harmful effect of water pollution first i want to explain what is water pollution already it has been explained you know what is water pollution but some point is there some that i need to explain so what is water pollution the contamination of water with harmful and unwanted substance like domestic sewage in the industrial Indust sewage the contamination of water with harmful and unwanted substance like domestic sewage industrial sewage chemicals like pesticides or fertilizers which affect both living and non living things is called water pollution you all know from junior classes that contamination of water with unwanted unwanted or harmful substance such as domestic waste industrial waste means toxic industrial waste chemicals like fertilizers or pesticides that affect living and non living both are called water pollution what is water pollutant the harmful and unwanted substance which contaminate the water and cause water pollution are called water pollutant so if water is polluted the water tastes bad and start giving false smell so presence of pollutants makes the water foul if for you will foul smelling and bad in test so basic thing this what is water pollution what is water pollutant and next is presence of water pollutant it makes the water foul smelling means badbu dena and bad in test test kharab ho jayega so causes of water pollution next is 
causes of water pollution first industrial sewage the waste that is coming from the industry without treating without bina usme se toxic it contains toxic chemicals if it is added into the water water get polluted next is second is domestic sewage what is domestic sewage the liquid or the waste water coming from the washrooms and the kitchen that is released directly into the water that will cause water pollution third human activities activities like bathing of human being and animals in water bodies like lake river etc so human activities is also responsible for contamination cause causing water pollution first second third fourth point agricultural waste during agriculture some waste that is generated especially many waste is generated but those waste are biodegradable so that get decomposed in water no problem with that but the agricultural waste such as fertilizers and pesticides you know what is fertilizer the chemicals which is used to increase the fertility of the soil or increase the yield of the crop and the pesticide pesticide means the chemical that is used to you know, protect the crop from the germs so if it is used in excess quantity during rain this what these chemicals get washed and mixed with the water along with the rain water it flows into the water bodies that will affect the water body and the fifth one is oil spill from huge tankers are one of the major cause of water pollution it affect the marine plants and animals what i am saying here oil spill tel ka chhalakna you know in from different gulf countries or other countries we transport the oil crude oil so while this uh, crude oil is transported with in huge tankers bada bada tanker hota hai so from that if oil is spill means wada kuch oil gir jata hai ya if an accident happen of that tanker that oil that get spread into the water we know the oil is lighter than water it will float on the water so it will not allow the since crude oil is black color dark color it will not allow the sunlight to penetrate into the water body or the ocean that will affect the aquatic habitat the plants and the animals which is living in the water and moreover for cleaning this oil detergents are used and if you use more detergent or cleaning of this oil will also further degrade the water quality means it will further 
pollute the water. So the causes of water pollution, industrial sewage, domestic sewage, human activities, agricultural waste and oil spill. These five are the causes of water pollution. Now we will see the harmful effect of water pollution. Okay, since we have seen what is water pollution, what is water pollutant, we have seen how we detect the water is polluted when its smell is foul and it is tasting bad. Then we can say water is polluted and the uh, causes of water pollution is industrial waste, domestic waste, human activities and uh, the excessive use of fertilizer, agricultural waste. So and oil spill, these are the causes of water pollution. Now we are going to see effect of water pollution. So polluted water can cause many type of disease like typhoid, cholera, jaundice, diarrhea, dysentery. So some diseases are there that is effect. Okay, that is caused in humans due to polluted water. So, polluted water causes diseases like cholera, typhoid. Dysentery, jaundice, etc. So, polluted effect on human being is it causes many diseases. Second is eutrophication. This I have already explained you. Once again, I will explain, but first we will define what is eutrophication. The loss of dissolved oxygen from water in water bodies is called eutrophication see as i have told you for example this is a farm ye khet hai and this is a water body if you use excessive fertilizer if you are using excessive fertilizer and we know that aquatic organism obtain oxygen so oxygen remain dissolved in the water and aquatic organism take oxygen from the water only for if i am saying there is a plant inside this plant release oxygen and this oxygen get dissolved in water and there is a fish inside and that fish is taking water which is dissolved in the in taking oxygen from the water and it is releasing co2 this co2 is again utilized by the plant for photosynthesis so we know a kind of ecosystem is there and moreover the oxygen from the atmosphere also get mixed into the water so as the oxygen level decreases in the water the water from that oxygen level decreases in the water oxygen from the air get dissolved into the water okay so if you ex use excessive fertilizer and during rain this fertilizer get mixed with the water body this this fertilizer get mixed with the rain water and it enter into the water body so now fertilizer is more in the water body if there is more fertilizer then algae that is on the surface of the water body lake may dekhe hai na wo green color ka kai jaisa jan jata hai that algae that is also a plant so if this 
from fertilizer why we are using fertilizer to increase the productivity of the crop so algae is also a kind of plant so if it gets fertilizer the growth of algae will increase and there will be algal bloom algal bloom means algae ka bahut tezi se growth hoga so the algae will cover the entire water body if this water body is totally covered by the algae so no sunlight can enter and no air can enter so if there is no sunlight there is no photosynthesis and if there is no air co in contact with the water body so no oxygen is dissolved here so oxygen present in this water will keep on decreasing and ultimately aquatic organism will die due to lack of oxygen so this condition happens just because of using excessive fertilizer so this loss of dissolved oxygen from the water in water bodies is called eutrophication so pollutants like fertilizers are responsible for the eutrophication and what happens in eutrophication the oxygen content of the water body decreases third one is effects on aquatic life so just now i told you here we are discussing oil spill so due to as i have told you oil is a lighter substance it will float on the water and it is dark color crude oil is of dark color it form a thin layer this is called oil slick this thin film of oil above the water body is called oil slick so the oil is lighter than water it forms a thin film film means layer a thin film on the surface of water which is called oil slick this is called oil slick so oil being lighter it forms a layer or thin film of oil on the water body this is called oil slick so this oil slick do not allow air and what um, air and sunlight to penetrate easily that will affect the marine life so it do not allow light and air to penetrate easily so this oil slick do not allow light and air to penetrate easily so oil slick kills thousands of marine plants and animals so these are the harmful effect of water pollution on human being eutrophication and effect on the aquatic organism or aquatic life so hope you understand if you still anyone have any problem you can ask in the morning okay